Example 4.6 or 5.6 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. A rigid tank is divided into two equal parts by a partition. Initially, one side of the tank contains 5 kilograms of water at 200 kilopascals and 25 Celsius, while the other one is evacuated. The partition is then removed and the water expands into the entire tank. The water is allowed to exchange heat with its surroundings until the temperature of the tank returns to an initial value of 25 Celsius. We need to determine the volume of the tank, the final pressure, and determine the heat transfer for this entire process. The first task of the problem is to determine the volume of the tank. In order to do that, we're going to find the specific volume of the initial condition for the water. For that, we go to the table A4 and we look at the temperature that we have of 25 Celsius. Since it's water, we are assuming that it's going to be saturated liquid. And then we go to find the value of the saturated liquid uh, specific volume, which is given to be 0 0.001003. Now that we have the value of the specific volume, we calculate the volume, and this is going to be volume of the first half section, is simply going to be the mass times the specific volume in that particular case. So it is going to be 5 kilograms, and we multiply it by 0 0.001003 meter cubed per kilogram, and this gives us a value of 0 0.005 meter cubed and as I said this is half of the volume so the entire volume is equal to 0 0.01 meter cubed. The next step is to find the final pressure. In order to do that we need to determine what is the phase at the end of the process. Just to do that we're going to start by calculating the specific volume at the final step. So the specific volume is simply going to be the final volume divided by the mass. The final volume we found it to be 0 0.01 meter cubed and the mass is 5 kilograms. Therefore the specific volume that we have is going to be 0 0.002 meter cubed per kilogram. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to table A4 to see how the specific volume compares to the ranges of the saturated liquid and the saturated vapor. If we go to the temperature of 25 Celsius, we see that the value for 0 0.002 is in between the saturated liquid and the saturated vapor, which means that we have a saturated mixture. For this saturated mixture, the pressure that we have is the saturated pressure, which is equal to 3.1 one six nine eight kilopascals and that is going to be the final pressure for this process. The third step is to find the heat transfer for this process. In order to do that we first need to find the quality for the uh, uh, liquid vapor mixture. We already have the value of the specific volumes for the liquid, the vapor, and the difference between it and then we find that the value of the quality is equal to the volume in this case minus Vf divided by Vfg and this for this particular case if we substitute the values we find that the quality is equal to 2.3 times 10 to the negative 5. We're going to use that value to find the quantities necessary to calculate the heat transfer for this process. If we do a balance of energy we find that we have the amount of energy in minus the amount of energy out is equal to the change of internal energy since it's a closed system. There is a knot of energy uh, leaving the system. This is only heat going in. So the amount of energy in is the heat going in and that is equal to the amount of energy change and that is going to be equal to the mass times the change of energy U2 minus u1 and then we go to the tables to be able to find the values of u2 and u1. For u1 or the internal energy at the 
initial phase, we determined that it was a saturated liquid. So the value of U1 is going to be simply 104.83. For phase two, we found that to be a saturated mixture. Therefore, it's going to be a combination between UF and UFG by using the value of the quality. So if we go back to the calculations, we find that U1 is simply going to be uh, 104.83 uh, kilojoules per kilograms and then we find that the value of U2 is simply going to be the value of UF plus X UFG and using the values of the table we find that the value of the final internal energy U2 is equal to 104 0.88 kilojoules per kilograms. We substitute into this equation the amount of heat going in is the amount of the mass, 5 kilograms, and the difference between these two values, 104.88 minus 104.83, and this is kilojoules per kilogram. And we find that the value for the heat going in is equal to 0.25 kilojoules.